Happy birthday, Chloe's Playworld! I am super excited for today's video because today is March 24th, 2021. And this day, last year, was the day I posted my very first video on YouTube. This video is going to be a sum of everything that's happened with my YouTube channel and the doll family and all of that l last year. And I'm also going to give you my top 10 favorite Chloe's Playworld videos that I did last year. You probably noticed that I have a new intro. I'm super excited about this intro stop motion. This is our whole doll family. I'll talk about our doll family later because you probably noticed how much it grew last year. I'll talk about that later, but I'm super excited about this new intro. It shows the whole doll family just all together taking a picture and I love it. And then I also have a new profile image and cover art because those are getting pretty old. The only thing I'm not going to change at this current moment is my subscribe video. It's going to be the same one with Emily that I did a while back. Before we get into this video a little bit more, I want to give a shout out to my very first video. I beg you to watch that. Today is the perfect day. This was the very first video that I posted today last year on my YouTube channel. It's called Helping Hands, Ways to Serve Your Siblings. And well, it's about ways to serve your siblings and care for and love on them, specifically sisters and brothers, younger sisters, younger brothers, even older sisters and brothers. And I really want you to watch that. That'd be super cool. And really, it's really just ways that you can help anyone out. So that's that's a cool video and I want you to watch that, please. So next, I'm just gonna show you some of the new dolls, just a quick overview and how our doll family grew. So real quick, I just want to inform you that we have 10 American Girl dolls and three of them are Little Wishers, and they are not all mine. I only own three of them, which is Hazel, Grace, and Emily, and the rest belong to my sisters. This is the Winters family. On the far left, we have Lindsay McKenzie Winters. In the middle, we have Lucy Winters, and on the far right is Hazel Grace Winters. These are all truly me dolls. So these three are all Girl of the Year dolls. We have Luciana Vega, Girl of the Year 2018, Grace Thomas, Girl of the Year 2015, and Joss Kendrick, Girl of the Year 2020. So these are all the older dolls, except Ashlyn. Ashlyn is new as well. And this is the Matthews family. The Matthews are cousins to the Winters family. So yeah, that is all of our American Girl dolls. And I bet you're wondering how we got so many new dolls in like one year. Christmas. Christmas, this past Christmas brought a lot of blessings and seven new American Girl dolls along with it. We were all super happy to have these new dolls and it's really hard to pick a favorite between all of the dolls that we have and especially me between these three. These three are mine. It's so hard to pick a favorite. I try to give all of them love and I will be doing videos with all of them. So next I'm going to give a shout out to some of my other videos. I don't know if you knew this, but March is National Craft Month. I know it's almost the end of the month, but there's still some time and you can craft anytime. So I want you to check out some of my DIY American Girl Doll Simple and Easy AG Craft videos. I will link some in the description below. So now I'm going to give a shout out to everyone who has subscribed to my YouTube channel and given my videos likes and watched my videos. It means so much to me that you like my videos. I don't really remember how I really wanted to have a YouTube channel, but for a few years before I even started my channel, 
I just really wanted one and it means so much that you actually like my videos. I will be posting more for sure. This is definitely not my last video. You can look forward to some more this new year. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It will mean a lot to me. So speaking of subscribers, I just realized on Saturday that I got 20 new subscribers within this last month, which doesn't seem like a lot, but for me it's a big deal because usually in one month I would only get like five or something. So thanks again so much for subscribing. And then again, if you haven't, please do subscribe. I now have 55 subscribers. I was so shocked when I found this out and I'm really happy. So thanks again. I just can't stop thanking you for subscribing. It means so much to me. So now I'm just going to share a few of my goals for next year. My first goal is to start publishing weekly. I wasn't really doing that last year. I was kind of just publishing whenever I wanted to, but I'm going to try really hard this year to publish weekly. There might still be some times where I just don't publish for a few weeks. Just know that I'm really busy. My next goal is to get 5,500 views on my videos. This isn't just like, 5,500 views on one video, but for all the videos combined. So I have like 2,600 right now. Like I said, publishing weekly might help me reach this goal. I'm really hoping it will. So my next goal is to reach 5,500 views by the end of next year. This goal is fairly big. This goal is to reach 100 subscribers by the end of next year. So. When I established this goal, I had like 30 some subscribers and I established it before I realized I had 55, 55, but I'm still gonna keep it at 100. That seems pretty reasonable, but this is also really depending on you. Like I said earlier, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do and help me reach 100 subscribers by next March 24th. So now I'm going to share with you guys my top 10 favorite Chloe's Playworld videos that I did last year. I'm going to start with 10 and work our way up to one, which is my favorite Chloe's Playworld video on my channel. So I say favorite, but really what I mean is like I like and am very proud of all of my videos. So number one is just one of my favorites, not even like technically my most favorite, but just one that I like a little bit more than some of the others. So number 10 is my catalog review, March 2021. This is my most recent video other than this one that I just did like a week and a half ago. So you can check that out if you don't get the catalog, it's basically just pictures of the catalog that I put into a YouTube video and post. I really like the catalog review videos because they're some of the most easiest videos for me to do. It's literally just like taking pictures of the catalog and then just like editing it all into one video. Number nine is my DIY American Girl Doll School Supplies video. I liked this video one because it was lots of fun to make all those adorable doll school supplies. And two, it is really popular and is my most popular video. Number eight is my American Girl Doll Spa Day video. I did this one a long time ago but I still really like it. It was lots of fun to set up that spa. Me and my sisters had so much fun setting that up and it was fun to film and record and edit and I just really liked that video. Number seven, my DIY American Girl doll replica of Joss's bag video. I really like this video one because it was lots of fun to make the bag and two, it can fit a lot of cute stuff inside of it and some of the pictures I took in that video were really cute. I also made Joss's bag before we even owned Joss, so it was kind of a coincidence. Number six is my DIY American Girl Doll Disinfecting Wipes COVID Special video. It was lots of fun to make these wipes. I had fun getting creative with how to make them and the little 
clip I did at the beginning of me disinfecting the doll's phone is just so cute. Number five, helping hands ways to serve your siblings. I gave a shout out to this video earlier. This was the very first video I posted on my YouTube channel. Number four is Get Well Soon, Emily. This video I did around Christmas time, so you see like decorations in the dollhouse, but it's not a Christmas video, and it's about Emily who breaks her leg on a trampoline just like I did in September. I'm fully healed now though, and so happy to be running outside again. So these last three videos are Dolly Holiday specials. Number three is my Easter video that I did last year where I'm just basically setting up this Easter inspired doll bedroom. I will be posting some Easter videos this year too and so go ahead and check that video out. It's almost Easter so now's the perfect time. Number two is my 4th of July photo shoot. I really like this video. It was so much fun to set up that picnic scene with the dolls. And then number one is my Valentine's Day tea party. This one was pretty recently. I did it like last month. And this one is one of my favorites. I had so much fun setting up that scene and just incorporating red and pink and putting the tiny teacups on the little table and crafting the doll valentines. This is probably one of my favorite videos that I've posted on my YouTube channel. And that sums it up for today. My one year on YouTube anniversary video is coming to an end. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe and help me reach my goals. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Bye.